I am back. Guys, it's been a ride. It has been a ride since the last time I did a video and chatted with you guys or I think it was a product review the last thing I did. Well, as you see this setup kind of blank and plain in the back, but we're working on that. I am in a different place now, a whole different state. I am not in Georgia anymore. I am back in Florida. Can we get a round of applause? A round of applause. I made it. Zimba, excuse me, this is my show. Come on, move down off. I made it back to Florida. Not necessarily Miami, but I am in South Florida, Southwest Florida to be exact. And I am happy to be here and back closer to home. The dream is all I ever wanted. And we're here. We made it, guys. We made it. And well, I thought it was about time I sat here and catched you guys up on where I've been, what I've been up to. If I'm alive or not, obviously I am alive and well, you know, out here trying to thrive, but, but yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to chat with you guys today and catch you guys a little bit up where I've been, like I said, and also I'm about to go out in a few, so I gotta do my makeup, so I'm gonna walk you guys through some new products that I have been using, that I have been loving and show you what's inside my makeup bag while I'm at it. So it's gonna be a get ready with me and slash what's inside my bag, slash I'm a bag. All three in one video, it's gonna be great. Now, at some point in the video, I do want to throw in some videos and catch you guys up as, as to where I've been and my whole moving process and all of that. Probably be really quick, but I'll make sure to write somewhere in the video, like skip to, two minutes in or whatever so you guys if you don't want to watch that you can skip it and get to the makeup stuff okay so let's get started all right first of all my makeup bag is amazon i want to say it was 30 dollars. i want to say it was i can look it up right now but i don't want to look it up right now but i will write it somewhere in the video and i will link it below but i believe it's 30 bucks all right so inside I know I did this one time I get ready with me type of thing and I kind of show you what's inside my bag so it's kind of like the same setup we got over here the brushes here we I try to be a little bit organized but it's a little hot mess we got some lipsticks in the corner over here can you guys see it I think so okay and we got blush contour powders over here here we have a mix of powders and foundation and on this section foundations and then some brushes and of course my sponges that's a setup right now okay oh guys where do i even start i don't know where to even start honestly what i do know is i'm going to start with my brows but as far as topics go all right i know where to start so back in I have been here living already since January, so like two months and a half, two months and a half, I think. Yeah, because we're like kind of by mid-March. Um, so yeah, I got this job. I left Georgia mid-December. Yes, I left Georgia mid-December. I was home for the, I was able to be home for the holidays. So I was home for, actually, maybe like maneuver this a little bit closer. So I'm like not out of screen. Okay. So I was home for two, like two weeks before I had to move here and and that was nice. What was not so nice, it was a COVID spike. So I couldn't do much the time I was home. So your girl was just stuck at home, hoping not to get sick again because I wanted to be able to start work in January. Um, so I was taking good care of myself and yeah. So then, I made it back here in January and I've been working for a local news station here. It's been going really good. I really like it. 
I am a bureau reporter as well, so that means I don't work at the station. I work and cover like a different section. And the best part is, guys, I have a photographer now. I'm not by myself. Sometimes I am by myself, but for the most part, I have a photographer, which is life changing on the job. It's just so nice to have a full talk and have that support there for you. And, and yeah. I started looking for a job, I don't know if I ever mentioned this in any of the videos, but I started job job hunting, wait, before I continue, of course, my go-to always, Anastasia, the brow whiz, um, I'm actually gonna pluck some of my eyebrows out, so, <laughs> okay, so I ended up getting the job, like, in October last year, but of course, like, I had to wait, you know, I had to give my notice to my other job before I left. So that's a whole process. I had to find a place to live, which was not easy whatsoever, especially with the housing crisis. So, so yeah, but hey, we made it some way, somehow. We made it and we are here. And I'm happy to be here. And that's that's what matters, right? That's what matters. Um, so I wanted to do soon like a little like a little house tour, but honestly the apartment is like your basic apartment there's <laughs> nothing so crazy that i don't be like oh my god i want to show you guys this i want to show you guys that there's nothing crazy like that so, uh, so i don't know if i'm gonna do it or not um i am using moisturizer just you know very important to moisturize your face uh so yeah so i don't know if i want to do that i'll think about it but the cool thing is that I have some furniture from my other apartment tour video, the studio one that I last did. Guys, that was the best apartment I've ever lived at. You don't understand how much I miss that apartment. Like, I hope to one day live in an apartment like that again, which I know it's gonna happen. I have faith it will, or even better, a bigger one that's not a studio. Um, but I love living there. Anyways, I have some furniture from that apartment here, which I have like the shelf here, the lamp. Yeah, it's not on frame, that's not on frame, but, but whatever. Um, but then there was some stuff that I had like sold because I didn't know where to store all this thing and things like all this furniture back in my, my house in my old room, my parents house. So I sold my own couch and like other little things. So I ended up having to shop for furniture all over again. And this time around, I decorated very different. The other time was like white grays mirrors and all of this this one is like woodsy a lot of wood gold cream couch so i decorated very different but it was decorating on a budget because everything that i bought was either from target um tg maxx amazon my couch is from amazon um what else home goods home goods was the spot like that so it's just like random little finds that kind of went with the style I was going for, your girl bought it. So that's what I ended up putting together. I want to say I wasted no more than $2,000 on furniture. Um, for my bedroom, I bought like a dresser, wood from Amazon. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link my Amazon storefront down below so you guys can see some of the furniture there. And, and yeah. So my bed, my bed I did keep, which was the white one that I had in my previous previous room. So that's good. I kept that. Um, and then yeah. So after my moisturizer, of course, it's calling me my mother. So after my moisturizer primer, I've been using this one for a long time. I love the matte feeling on my face. Sometimes I feel a little bit too dry, depending on like the foundation I wear. But for the most part, I like it. So I have tried, you guys know that I have been preaching a die-hard fan of these two foundations. Well, this is a baby cream, but this is like an everyday type of thing, which I do use for work every day. And Makeup Forever. You guys know that I live by these. I love this other Makeup Forever one, which is more like a powder foundation. But I recently bought this one. The Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk. Love it. I love how it looks. And for, for a miracle of the universe, I was able to match myself, like the color of the skin in the store. And it, it, was, it was a hit. I matched it real good. 
Now it's very expensive, so I only use it for kind of a special occasions. And I have tried it for broad daylight, looks good. And I've tried it for night side, looks good. I have used it out when I've like gone out and I knew it was gonna get sweaty. Still looks good by the end of the night. And I, I approve, honestly, I really approve. I love it. So we are going to put some foundation on. Oh, and uh, the shade I use, this is 5.5. 5.5? Yeah, it's 5.5. Two pumps. I'm trying to make that enough. Two pumps. Now, since I only use this for special occasions, it is not in my everyday makeup bag. Everything else, as you can see, it is. But not that one. That one only goes in here when I have to take the bag somewhere for special occasions. No, it's not going to go in the bag whatsoever. Alright, I think right here I'm going to toss you guys to my videos of where I've been in the past few months guys it is happening we are leaving Georgia I have such a hot mess but we got three days to get it together and we are Riding out, right, buddy? Right, buddy? We're riding out, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a weird angle, but we're gonna make it work. So after a year and nine months, almost two years, I have been in Georgia. I am finally going back closer to home, but not home. Going to Fort Myers. I'm excited about that. Not excited about being moving again and picking everything up. Such a mess. I hate moving, I hate the process of it all, but I'm excited and I'm excited for what is to come. I want to show you guys some room tour and like a permanent tour because I finally get to live by myself again. No more roommates, so very excited about that. And it's an actual normal bedroom. Not a normal apartment, not like a dorm that I've been basically living in for almost two years. So that's pretty exciting. My little dorm. Thing here that I ah, that I switched 
and that is powder and i'm going to show you guys which one i switched to and i've been a loving fire all right so this is the translucent powder that i have been telling you guys it's called one size i don't want to say who it's from because i might mess it up and say a whole different name of who it's from i think it's patrick star or patrick something i don't know which patrick it is but it's one of the patricks and <laughs> i don't want to butcher it and say the wrong brand but it's called one size so that's what matters oh um, i think there's only like two colors and this is a translucent one which is it's one size guys like fits everyone <laughs> fits every skin shape so i'm gonna get my little blender a little sponge and then we are going to bake these eyes so it stays there the whole night oh and also this powder is a little bit cheaper i think it was 40 bucks Laura Mercier is probably more expensive i think or like 30 bucks i'm not really sure i have a problem when it comes to prices i kind of forget but that's why not right yeah all right we're done with powder for now ah! Ah, powder. <laughs> it's like falling on my clothes okay mm. this flavor guys of halani fires come mimosa tastes like orange juice but i really like them you know mimosas have orange juice but without the champagne it tastes better <laughs> it tastes like orange juice um, Alright, so now we're going to contour. Of course, nothing has changed. What's new? Nothing. My Hula. Hula contour powder. Snatched? Not snatched. And I'm going to show you guys what I do to get rid of my cara de papa. Because lately I've been getting like a cara de papa here. And I've been trying to <laughs> massage it at night. And try to fix the issue. So hopefully, with time. The cara de papa will be no more. Because I didn't have like a cara de papa before. Like it's just gotten worse. I don't know why. Because like, I haven't gained weight or anything. So. Now, cara de papa, right? We're going to go through the structure here. The structure. The jawline. <laughs> the structure. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, we're going to go through the jawline. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna kind of spread it down a little bit. Draw a line. Boom. And then we're gonna spread it down. Boom. And then from my big ass forehead, put it up here. Boom. Boom. Alright, so now. We are going to put a little bit of eyeshadow, but just a tad bit. So inside my everyday bag, I carry the Naked palette because of course, you know, you need those nudes. You don't need to carry a colorful thing on your everyday makeup bag because where are you trying to go with some blue eyeshadow, you know what I mean? And then I carry the little one too, which has cute colors, which is a Naked 3. This one is so clutch because it's so tiny. It fits just anywhere. I love it. And it has like really pinky tones that just look really really cute i'm really not an eyeshadow person like if i knew how to do it nice like by all means i would do it but i think honestly all you need is a good pair of lashes and your face just just looks good with one one little color slap on your eyeshadow eyelash like on your eyelids and that's it so now we're gonna do lips this has become my favorite part of my makeup routine. I'm getting to do my lips, trying different colors, which late, which I honestly go to the same color because I'm a creature of habit. But it's still like my favorite part. We're gonna go with nude, KKW, nude one. And I'm going to kind of contour them a little bit. Honestly, I think lips just like morphed my face i look back at videos and like pictures of me without lip fillers and i want to cringe i want to cry because i just look so different so bad 
like it just didn't, I don't know, like this just makes my face. I look so, I look 12, I think that's what it is. Go to, this is the one I'm gonna put, but I'm not gonna put it on right now. Coco K, love Coco K so much. I think I'm like running now and I need to buy it. And I think Kylie Jenner, she changed up the brands or the ingredients or rebranding. I, I know the last thing time I saw something about her brand, she she was doing something to it. I don't remember what it is, but I just hope I can find more of Coco K. All right. We are gonna go in and take some of the powder out of under my eyes. Oh, this like powder, guys, it's like sweat proof. <laughs> it's sweat proof. Honestly, it's better than proof. My face looks, doesn't get like oily. It looks so good. We're gonna go in with blush. My go to, Batty on the Block. Batty on the Block from Kylie. That's what I'm on. All right, I think we good guys. I think we are good. Now I'm gonna put my lipstick on. This, I bought this cause I saw someone rave about it. And I don't wanna say I don't like it cause I really haven't like used it yet. But supposed to be, it's really good to make your face matte. It's the Invis, Invisi, Invisi Matte Lottie Powder. So sometimes when I, I take it out, when I go out, I take it you know, in my bag. And if I start getting sweaty, I start blotting it out. And you know, I haven't really realized anything, but I like to believe it works. All right, we're gonna go in with the cocoa. Okay. I am drying out. So nice. Okay. This is my face. <laughs> I should have zoomed in a little bit more. But this is how I look, guys. This is. This is your girl. Ready? Well, guys, it is so good to be back. I have some fun plans for y'all. And I know I always say this, and I'm like a broken record, but I'm really happy to be back. And I do want to continue doing videos and continue doing things for my YouTube channel that I love so much. Mm. Oh, it's a jam. So, so yeah. I don't know what I want to do next, but if you guys have any recommendations of any videos you want to watch or any product review, let me know down below. I'm going to link these products down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I missed you guys so much once again, and I'm just happy to be back. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.